Championship, weighing in at 16 stone, one pounds, he is known as the Genius Fantox. Greetings Grapple fans, welcome to the Lock Meadow Centre, Rob Ringside alongside Clark Andrews bringing you UKPW Showdown as we are joined at the ring by the genius himself, Fentos. That's right, Rob brings out what a way to start the show. We are about to get an education right now, as you said, from the genius, Fentos. Absolutely, Clark Andrews. And just before we got rolling today, Fentos had this to say. Here I am in the Lock Meadow Arcade, and I've been analyzing all of the games. I'm going to play on the machines and come out in profit. I'm going to win lots of money. Come watch. Ha <laughs> ha. I am now 20,000 pounds in debt. So I need to get back to winning ways. I'm going to crush Keith Chaos and I'm going to rinse 20,000 pounds out of his wallet so I am no longer in risk of losing my house. Let's go. Rob Ringside, are you ready to cause some chaos? Well, I don't think it's up to me, Clark Andrews. I think it's up to this man right here. And here he is! It's Keith Chaos! Hailing from Dover Castle! Currently weighing 446 Easter eggs! He is the King of Chaos! This is Keith Chaos! Well, Clark Andrews, it's been a little while since we've seen Cave Chaos in a UKPW ring. As you'll recall, the show you know very well, we were at High Street Fighter 2 Turbo in Bexley last year when Keith Chaos took on Max Gates. We certainly did. That was, that's absolutely right, Rob Singh. We'll bring side. And let's not forget, Keith Chaos actually made his debut at Summer Jam 2022 in Champ. He loves these outdoor shows, Rob Ringside. He absolutely does indeed. That Chatham show, I remember it well. Sizing each other up. Here we go. Fentos is, uh, is warming up. You suck, um, person. Oh, you. You suck. <laughs> you can tell where the suck came from. You. Shut up. Don't suck. You suck. Oh, shut up. You suck. You all shut up. Looks like everybody's ready. Fentos is Bring the bell. demonstrating with this capacity crowd here at Maidstone. The bell is wrong. Key chaos early on, getting the crowd nice and warmed up. It's essentially like becoming a handicap match if you can get the crowd on your side, Clark Andrews. Absolutely. And you're going to need every bit of that against somebody as technically savvy as Fentos. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh big push there Look from Fentos. Power. Yes, he's just stalking around the ring. Very confident already. As Keith Kaus recovers in the corner. He chaos warming up the crowd once again. Looking to get that little bit of edge from the crowd. Crowd making some noise on Keith Chaos's behalf as they look up again. Keith Chaos ducks through, very smart. Not to be outdone, that power again from Fentos. Absolutely, look at the power Fentos has and he's letting the crowd know all about it. Oh, with the push-ups as well. Look at this, I mean, a lot is made of Fentos' technical ability, which is obviously exceptional, but people forget he is incredibly strong as well. Incredibly strong, incredibly smart as well, Rob Ringside. Now he is enjoying, I think it's fair to say, an early psychological advantage. Keith Chaos looks to puff himself up to you go, get himself back into this match. Smart, isolating the arms of Fentos. Obviously, power is only one thing. You need arms. That's what we are fond of saying. Fentos just wrenched that. Fentos got one of his own. Just ducked through. Look at that, just applying that pressure and this is re-arching that momentum and that leverage. This has all been Fentos so far. Look at the power and the strength he's got, Keith Chaos. But it looks like Keith Chaos is fighting back. Nice roll there. And is he going to... Oh, I've not seen that kind of break before. Very impressive. There we go. 
Keith Cowles not to be underestimated. Obviously uh, capable of some high-flying athleticism, but also not without some holds you might not have seen before. Even Fentus, who's been a, you know, a seasoned veteran of the ring. He is a seasoned veteran indeed. I just hope that uh, Keith Cowles has done some studying, as much as uh, Fentos studies, of course, being the genius that he is. Indeed. For signs of submission from Keith Chaos. As well, he might with a move like this, which stretches across arms and legs, putting them in positions they're not meant to go. Absolutely. I believe he's uh, these different angles that he's Just got there. There's a pin, and that's early. Was that a two count there, I believe? I believe so. Smart move from Fentos to get a cover in. It's especially disorienting Fenton. Uh, Fentos. He can't disorient himself. Sit the ringside. <laughs> Yeah, floats over. Yeah, he's got a headlock there. Looks like he's got a headlock there on Fentos. Fentos fired him back. And power again just to get back up to a vertical base. That's the arm. Again, just wrenching that arm. Luke Gales, of course, capable of high-flying maneuvers, but with arms that are giving him grief. That will be harder. Gales, once again, trying to channel the energy from this crowd here. I think what we've got to remember about that. Fentos as well. Fentos Very athletic. Oh! Beautiful drop kick, and Fentos is sent reeling. I was about to say that Fentos likes to study. He's very clever with his moves, but I don't think he quite anticipated that kick there. No, indeed it's not. Sent him outside the ring. Keith Kaus directing Fentos back into the ring. He does not want to win this by count even though he theoretically could. <laughs> If there's anyone who knows about count counts of numbers, it is Fentos. Indeed so. He'll be able to t count to ten in multiple languages, I suspect. Okay, so what's uh, what's uh, number ten for uh, French? Robin, so it's this. Right. There's Fentos taking his time getting back in the ring, but Keith Cass has been very patient here. Absolutely. Fentos looking to drag out. Now that Keith Cowles is enjoying a little bit of momentum, looking to drag that out. Absolutely, earlier on the match it was all Fentos, but it now looks like Keith Chaos now has, uh, has the advantage, he certainly has the crowd advantage here. Absolutely, the crowd letting Fentos know what they think. I'm hungry all of a sudden, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what I fancy though, any ideas? Would it be 446 Easter egg for ringside? I don't think I could manage more than 10. Which in Spanish is he is. It's a test of strength. Except uh, Keith Chaos with a slight, slight height disadvantage, it's fair to say. What he lacks in vertical stature, he makes up for in just spirit and athleticism and ability. <laughs> Referee Tristan Stone helping Keith Chaos looking to go for those feet but Fentos wise to it. Look at that power just driving Keith Chaos back towards the mat. Is that strength again there from Fentos. Look at the strength that he Keith, has. But look at Keith Chaos staying in place as he maneuvered into a cover. And kicks out a two. Impressive to do that when there's a large man. Absolutely. All the weight distributed across those shoulders, and he's managed to kick out. It's very impressive to hit. He bridges out. Look at that. The flexibility for Keith Cowles. It's a very flexible. For someone who weighs 446 Easter eggs, was it 446 Easter eggs? Is a lot of Easter eggs. Well, he sweated off, probably sweated off an Easter egg or two. That's, that's, that's 444, true. probably. It's trim 444. It's very good. Look here at that. Meadows. Fentos just yeah. catches it mid air. Ah, back breaking ah. right there. Fentos feeling some. Is that enough? Rage One, building. two, and there's a Keith kick Chaos out there. Still equal to the task. Keith Chaos, he's still in this. And Fentos smelling blood, perhaps. Just drives across the back, stretching out Keith Chaos. Oh, look at that. If the back oh. wasn't already broken, it certainly is now with that elbow. Absolutely. There we go. Fentos is hushing the crowd. Oh. There's noise, big noise from that forearm to the back. Fantastic calls for quiet. And another hard jump right there to the back there. 
and whips Keith Gass across. Oh! Into the corner, and oh, did you hear the impact there on the inside? I saw it. Is that enough? One, two, and it's a Keith kick out Chaos. there by Keith Chaos. All credit to Keith Chaos. He could have justified staying down at that point. That was a big wrench. Absolutely. That was a very, very. Uh, I initially thought Keith Chaos was tapping out to nothing, but I think he's trying to rally the crowd behind him. I think so. Oh, and a big chop there by Keith Chaos. Trying to get his boat back into this corner. Oh, and another. With the, with the strike there. And he's back in that corner as he's kicking Keith Chaos into that corner. He's kicking him. Right Tristan there. Stone looking to assert authority to count of four. A count of five could result in disqualification for Ventos. Yeah. Which, after all that work, why would you bother? Ventos is very, very smart. He knows exactly how long he has in those corners there. Look at that elevation, that hold, the strength of Fentos to keep him in that position for so long. Yeah, and another cover. cover. Kick out of two by Keith Chaos. Keith Chaos. Still in this. He's shown his resilience here right now. As you would expect from someone from Dover Castle. Absolutely. Well, they're built to last, those old castles. They certainly are, Rob Ringside. Keith Chaos looking to work his way back into this contest. Oh, big uppercut out of the... Nowhere there. Hits a clothesline but doesn't take Fentos off his feet. Can he get him Measuring down up for with another. this one? Look, Fentos is reeling but still up. Maybe one more. Big elbow. As Fentos bounces standing. the ropes. Keith Cowles looking to get some extra momentum from the second rope. Big double axe handle. Oh, to one knee. He's down to one knee. Can he get him all the way down though so that he can get that cover? He's going up top onto the turnbuckle. What's he going to do here? Measuring up for something big. What? Fentos staggering to his feet. Clearly reeled even though he didn't hit the floor. What Fully. comes up must come down. Huge crossbody cross from the top. One, two, and, and a oh, kick out. A kick out there by We've Fentos. seen Keith Chaos end matches with that maneuver before. Not this time. Fentos equal to the task after two and what must have been seven eights. Oh, DDT. big DDT plants the face of Fentos to the mat. Is Keith Chaos has got to be feeling it's got to be enough. And Fentos kicks out again. Another two count there. He hit the brain of Fentos, the, the, the cornerstone of Fentos's entire arsenal. It's a very still, big brain though, so it, true. it takes a lot more. It does, it's going to take a lot Lifts more. Lifts up, back drop. Is that going to be enough? One, two, and another kick, kick out, out there again by Fentos. Fentos. You have to give it credit where it's due to Fentos. To do. He's done really well to stay in this, given this period of momentum from Keith Chaos. Absolutely. The resilience that he is showing. Oh, big drop that's a kick. Big kick there. Once again, just staying on his feet. Just drops across the second rope. Keith Chaos looking to measure up for some sort of manoeuvre. I think we've seen this before. Oh, Swing. Ventos is absolutely rocked by that one, as well he might be. That's one chaos. number that Ventos did not want to see today. No, indeed, indeed not. Keith Chaos, Keith chaos measuring up, up from again. the top. Ventos is prone. No. Oh, oh, with the knees. Cross the chest, driving the air out of his lungs. Very Ventos. smart there by Ventos. Just gut wrench. Power bomb. Oh. Oh, wow. that's a nasty landing. And is that gnarly enough landing to indeed. One, is that enough two, to do it? That's the risk. That's it. Fentos picks up the victory. Fentos with the victory indeed. The genius that is Fentos. The genius Fentos. Well, how about that, Grapple fans? Fentos picks up the victory by pinfall over Keith Chaos. Clark Andrews, talk us through that gut wrench power bomb. Let me tell you something now, Rob Ringside. This is why he is the genius. This is why Fentos won today, because he knew exactly what he needed to do to get that victory. And as you'll rightly say, that gut wrench power bomb, bam, and it's over. Absolutely. One, two, three. Absolutely. Now, Keith Chaos put a big fight into this contest and almost won with that huge top rope cross body block. Talk us through that. It was, it was very impressive there by Keith Chaos. And as you said, a very, very near pinfall. But Ventos, again, he just had that resilience Thank just to kick out. Yes, indeed. The first bout here of the Lock Meadow Showdown. And ahead of their tag team match, Sabin and Andros J caught up with our camera people earlier in the day and had this to say.
So, we're here at Lock Meadow, right? It, it makes no Definitely not my hometown, certainly not your hometown, correct? Certainly not. It's certainly not. So, Eden Rise and Vicky Two Thumbs, right? We, we faced these guys so many times. In fact, we've actually came to their hometown of Maystone to embarrass them. Now, Vicky, you know I've got many, many problems with you. And Eden, you're just, you're just a purple version of what I want to be. You're just a little wannabe Ted Saving. So, I say we go to your hometown of Maidstone, where we right are, and we are going to take your heads clean off and we're coming for those UKPW Tag Team Championships. Strong words indeed from Sabin and Andros J. Strong words indeed from ringside. And introducing their opponents. And here they are! Well, they're making their first tag team appearance in the UKPW ring. Eden Rise and Vicky Two Thumbs, Clark Andrews. That's right, we know all about Vicky Two Thumbs. We know that she is always tenacious. We know that Eden Rise will always rise to the occasion. And what an occasion they have here. What an opportunity in the tag team division as they go up against the Evo Trash Boys. Yes, indeed. We saw Eden Rise for the first time in our Rochester show. This is his first time teaming with Vicky Two Thumbs. It'll be very entertaining indeed to see what it's going to end up being. Absolutely, let's see him in the ring. Ah, oh, look at that! Very impressive indeed. Sure-footed flip entrance. Eden Rise, strong start. Bell hasn't even rung yet, fucking. It hasn't even rung, and yet here he is. Ebo Trash, Trash Boys Remons. giving our ringside Remons. crew some... Uh, yeah, remonstrating with our ringside crew who are just are. trying to work. Just... Guys. All right, so it looks like Ted Saban's going to square off against Vicky Two Thumbs to kick us off here. Let's see these and two. away we go. These two know each other very, very well. They have fought many times before. Let's see what's going to happen on this one. Yes, indeed. And so lock up. And up straight away. Just wrenching the arm of Vicky Two Thumbs to get us going here. Early advantage here by Ted Saban. Just wrenching that arm and just measuring shots against that elbow. As Vicky rolls through. No, then now she's got the arm lock herself. We've seen this exchange many times in the UKPW ring. Yeah. This is where Ted shows he's capable of the same level of athleticism as he works his way into a headlock. Is. This is the thing with Ted Saban. We do know that he is a very much a high flyer, but he does have those technical abilities as well. Absolutely. And he is going to be showcasing them right in this match. Vicky rolls through and locks her arm behind the back and into a front face lock. So looking to work his way out of it with some carefully applied pressure. And uh, his way up to the road. Two sons up against the road. Through Tristan Stone asserting authority on this contest. Whoa. Hard up there by Ted Saban. Just a shot from the corner there. Yeah. She rolls up, flips up. No. Oh. oh, Ted equal to the oh, task. There you go. Whoa, oh, there nice. we go. Yeah, that time, that, that yeah, time that. Ted was not able to counter it. You can see if I'm in the corner. Goes for the splash, oh, but nobody home. As Ted. Builds up a bit of steam. Saban. Oh, oh, and he misses as well. Vicky Two Thumbs and into a big the splash. splash into the turnbuckle there. 
the always tenacious Vicky Two Thumbs. Calling for a rope we've seen, a move we've seen all too well from the second rope. You know, whipping across with an arm drag. One-handed arm drag by Vicky Two Thumbs. We, the crowd loves to see it. Yeah. So Jay makes the tag and Eaton Rice. Nice. Beautiful drop kick. Look at that. that Press is straight up. Spin around. Oh, wow. Oh, nice kick there by Eden Rice. He is rising to the occasion, Rob Ringside. See what he did there. Sling blade. Very impressive from Eden Rice there. Some fast paced and high flying athletic maneuvers. Well, he goes for something even more athletic. Oh, oh, and oh, oh, just driven to the mat by Andros J. Smart move. That is, that's how well you telegraphed. stop a high flyer there. Yes, indeed. Well telegraphed indeed by Andros J. May I just mention, look at the, uh, not only have we showcased some great technical wrestling up here, but we've oh. also got some, oh, as I just said, I say technical wrestling, that's a very big kick there. Oh, that's an elbow. Mention. One, two, and, and I just, look at the different arrangements of colour of hair that we have in this match. We, we do uh, work across the spectrum here. We do, we've got purple hair from Eden Rise, the blue of Vicky Two Farms, the red of Andros J. The dark brown slash black of Ted Saban, and of course and referee Tristan oh. Soane sporting a few colours themselves. Absolutely, Ted Saban. Ted Saban yeah. the snap bit. Another big kick to the back of Eden Rise, he's had a couple of those now. Here's what's he going to do here, and oh, oh wow. is that going to be enough? One, two, and... Interesting Not take quite. on a splash out of the out of the second rope there. Out of the ropes, rather. Second rope. Silly ringside. Crowd firmly behind Eden Rice. He's locked into a full Nelson. Oh, a snap there. Crawls through. Oh, big boot. Big kick Eden there by Ted, Sabin, by Ted Saban. Rolls over the force of that kick. Just levels him across the face. And Eden Rice looks to be uh, slowly getting isolated in this large 20-foot ring. Very long way to the corners. Speaking of the corners. This is excellent tag team wrestling though that you're seeing here by Ted Saban. Ted Saban out the corner. And Andros J. They are making sure they keep to this particular side of the ring, making sure that Vicky Two Thumbs cannot get that tag. Oh, wow. Very impressive. Drives even rising to the canvas and then all that air being driven out of his lungs. Ted Saban looks like he's going up top. And, ah, oh, look at that, he's just playing up to the crowd there. Uh, Ted Saban very smart, very ring-wise. Drives the knee to the back and just wrenching that neck and back of Eden Rice. Once again, Eden Rice now been in the ring for some minutes by himself. Emo Trash Boys arguably slightly fresher. Absolutely, they are isolating. Eden Rice and Vicky Two Thumbs there. Oh, like just stalking out of that corner, just looking to get that tag. Knowing where she needs to be when needed. As Eden Rice whips nice. off the rope oh. to the back elbow, spins out from Ted Sabin. Those most punches there from Ted Sabin. Some strong punches there. A bit of venom in every single one. As he whips Eden Rice off the ropes. Quite sure what happened there. Caught him across the stomach, it looks like. This is the thing about the emo trash boys. Some of the moves they pull out, you think, what actually happened? And then they just, there's pain. That's it, that's what they, that's all they know. All they know is pain, being the emo trash boys. Indeed. I believe it's part of their lifestyle, Rob Ringside. Andros J, being oh, the legal man. big suplex there. Big, beautiful suplex. Andros J, just shimming a little. Felt good about that one. As well he might. Eden Rise on the other hand, not so much. Some big move. Eden Rise has taken some punishment in this match. And that's a quick two count there. Andros J just continuing the job of Isaac Eden Rise as he bravely tries to fight out of it. Right. Vicky Two Fun, she's desperate to get in that ring. Eden Rice, he just cannot get to Vicky Two Thumbs. Just leveling out of that corner, and measuring and up. Stray. Oh, look at that, right into the corner there. Big forearm. And Stray, and there into he's, a head he's got that lock in. That is a tight, tight lock he has got in there. Can Eden Rise get out of it? He's rising and he's crowd firmly behind Eden Rise here. And he's got some punches in. These are some quick fire punches. Oh, but just like that, just a knee into the chest, and that's it. That's all it takes. 
Just as going to happen. Look at this, oh, look at oh, oh, my goodness, oh, did you oh, oh. see that, Rob Ringside? It looked like Eden Rice was about to pull a move out One, of nowhere, but just like that, Andros J had it telegraphed with a super kick. Wow. Mid -air. Unreal. As Andros J just looks annoyed. He is, he is. He is He's become slightly miffed, it's fair to say. I don't think he was expecting that from no. Eden Rice. He telegraphed it with a super kick. You'd think he'd be. I feel good about it, but it just made him angry, it seems. I think so. As he ta tags in Ted Saban and makes his way in. And, uh, talking of angry, here he is, Ted Saban. Which one do you think is a little angrier about the two, Andros J or Ted Saban? It's hard to say, you know, because, you know, the high-flying offense of Ted Saban might forgive you for thinking he's not angry, he's really enjoying himself. But actually, there's, there's, a, there's a viciousness to it. Look at that, he's definitely got the gift of the Yeah, definitely got the gab on the side in terms of anger. There's definitely some anger in that. Oh, look at that. That's disrespectful. Vicky Two Funs is not out there. She's desperate to get it. Speaking into of three. disrespect, and look in at the this corner, just further isolating Eden Rise. He's leveraging disrespect. Leveraging the fact that the referee's not. Uh, attention is diverted elsewhere. As Ted Saban just measuring out those jabs again. Vicky Two Thumbs is desperate. You can see she is just desperate to get yeah, in that just ring. Almost toying with Eden Rice, just getting him closer and closer to the corner, but not quite close enough. Look at that, just holding him in place, just arm's length and a little bit more from Vicky Two Thumbs. Just enough oh, to make Eden Rice to the Locks a shot. Out. Eden Can he Rice. capitalize? Oh, oh drop wow. kick. Beautiful. And is this going to be the moment? And he's got there the shot to Vicky Two Thumbs. Vicky Two Thumbs comes. back into this match. Just a big, big stop. there by. Vicky Two Thumbs. Takes Ted Saban clean <laughs> off his feet. Here she goes. And oh, nice clothesline there. Right into the Ted Saban. Ted Saban whips her off the ropes. Back oh. elbow. Just like that. The momentum she built as the fresh individual is just extinguished. This is what Ted, Ted Saban, Saban measuring does. Up. Big suplex there by Ted Saban. Vicky looking unsteady after that one. Big oh, boot to the midsection. <laughs> I think that was just above the uh, the waist there. Oh, small package Roll out up. of nowhere. One, two, oh. Kicks out, almost took one out of the Nemo Trash Wars player because he stole one. He's going for the suplex. Fisherman oh, suplex. One, two, and. Oh, Ted Saban kicks kick out. out again. Vicky Two Thumbs looking a little frustrated there. Yes, indeed. She'll understandably be annoyed at not being able to capitalise on that momentum. The tag's like been made. Tag. Oh, oh, look at that. That neck breaker looks like it took Ted Saban down at an awkward angle. So it Rice right. measures up. Oh! oh standing knees. moonsault. Ted Saban equal to the task and knees to the midsection. It is. That's the thing. When you try and do a high flyer move on a high flyer, they are going to know what to do to and counter it. You're exactly right, Clark Andrews. They'll see the signs, they'll see the subtle movements that would ordinarily elude non high flying competitors. Meanwhile, in the corner, oh. Eden Rice looking to isolate Ted Seven. Turn about is fair play, it seems. And for the chop. Oh, oh big, big chop. Time chop. To Eden Rice still favouring that neck. Exactly, the crowd heard that one. Absolutely, now. Going for another one. Oh, oh and another wow. big chop. It's like a video game move. Just a <laughs> Absolutely, Rob. Measures out coast to coast. Going for the, oh, oh, kick there by Ted Saban. Caught him. And just, just flurry of blows. Vicious, vicious blows here by Ted Saban. I just think we're seeing an even, even meaner side of Ted Saban here to, today, I think. Absolutely. I think it's fair to say that ever since the Emo Trash Boys took less of an interest in what the crowd thinks of them, there's been an aggression to their game that's come out. Meanwhile, big German suplex from Andros J. Eden rises really. And he's already favouring that neck before that move. It's only got to be adding pressure. Understandable. Andros J, he does not care what the crowd say. He's setting Eden Rise up here. What's he going to go for here? And oh, oh big cutter. A big, big cutter. Is that going to be enough? Andros Dre signaling bedtime. He is. It's time to go to sleep for Eden Rise, I think. Andros J, he's climbing to the top right. We rope. know what this usually means. It's usually a swanton bomb. Oh, oh, but he missed it. And Eden Rise knew too. Manages to evade. Oh, oh 
Both Dave. men eating a kick. Andros J favoring that leg as he hits. And now both men have a 10 count with which to get to their feet. Andros J favoring that leg. Maybe Landy Orr could be on it, perhaps. It was hard to tell in the uh, in all the commotion. Maybe. He's looking to crawl over and make the tag. Meanwhile, Eden Rye is looking to do the same. He's going for the tag. And we've got the Ted tag Saban to save in. And so is Vicky Two, two thumbs. thumbs. Here we go. Two Bam. thumbs. Oh, big clothesline there by Vicky Two Thumbs. And another one. Alternating arms like it's no big thing. Another big one of those kick. huge kicks to the midsection. Oh, and a big kick there to Andros J as well. A little bit of extra in that one. This Not sure if I can make the movie reference, but we saw it. Bulldog out of the corner, and Ted Sabin looks out of it. This is why Vicky Two Thumbs is always tenacious. Look at that. She's talking trash to the trash oh, boys. And look and at that. of her own. One, Goes for the two, cover. and oh. oh break Andros up there. J just breaks up the pin with a boot to the feet. And then, oh! Spine buster. Huge spine buster just out of nowhere. And just like that. Oh, oh with the knee. Rush, just like, just like that. It's all kicking off here. Oh, oh, look at that. Wow. And Ted now Saban catches Eden Rice midair and just drives him to the mat. It's a forearm to Vicky Two Thumbs. Ted Saban. And Goes for the crossbody. Look but at Vicky the strength of Two Thumbs here. Wow. And Huge oh, fall away slam. That. Look at that by Ted Two Thumbs. can't quite believe what just happened to him, and neither can we. Just working that midsection. Another blind tag there. Another neck breaker. Just driving that neck. Eden Rice. Like he favoured that knee. Look at that. With one leg. Oh! Wow! But again, but again Ted Saban with the knees up. Eden Rice pulling these moves out of nowhere with, with one leg. One good leg. Oh! oh big DDT. Huge DDT. Just spiking Eden Rice to the mat. Look at Eden Rice. He can't even stand. There's the tag. Andros J now just isolating him in the corner. Oh. oh, look at that by Andros J. Taking Vicky Two Thumbs out. And what's going on here? Be eyeing up some sort of double team manoeuvre. And oh, oh, wow! Did you see that? Surely that's it. One, two, that's three. That's it. The Emo wow. Trash Boys. Picking and up the victory. Absolutely. The crowd uh, letting them know what they feel. Absolutely. The Emo Trash Boys. Grapple fans, how about that? The Emo Trash Boys pick up the victory after an incredible double team maneuver. A stomp to the back, driving a DDT further into the mat, Clark Andrews. Absolutely, Rob Ringside. I'm telling you now, I don't know what that was called, but what we do know is that Eden Rice, he could not kick out of that manoeuvre. Absolutely not. All credit to Vicky Two Thumbs and Eden Rice for putting up a spirited display. Some of the manoeuvres they picked up were nothing short of incredible, but the, just the ring awareness of Ted Sabin once again, putting the knees up and then isolating Vicky Two Thumbs and then that double team stomp into DDT maneuver just calls an end to proceedings. Absolutely. And the crowd are letting the emo trash boys know exactly what they think of them, but they do not care. Greetings Grapple fans, welcome back to the Lock Meadow Centre here at Maidstone. Rob Ringside alongside Clark Andrews and what a match we have ahead, Clark Andrews. Absolutely Rob Ringside, it is time for a fatal four-way and here first is the law, Lewis Basham and I am sure that he is going to be enforcing the law in this match. Well, you can ask around and lots of people have mixed opinions on how well he holds the law. Often tempted to bend but never break is his mantra. Speaking of which, ahead of this match today, he had this to say backstage. 
Hi, I'm Daisy and I'm backstage with Delore and Lewis Basham. What are your thoughts on your upcoming match? Who are you? Daisy. Go away, kid. My thoughts on the upcoming match is simple. Victory. Prince Dean, Mr. Man of Bubbles. He's going to get four Nelson slammed. Devious Danny, the immortal. <laughs> it's going to get four Nelson slammed. Jay Morgan. I don't know anything about Jay Morgan other than the fact that he's a Tory. He's going to get four Nelson slammed. Daisy, it's your microphone. You suck, Basham! <laughs> Shut up, boys! <laughs> And here is a man, Clark Andrews, who knows Lewis Basham all too well. They have squared off multiple times in UKPW. Unfortunately for Devious Danny, he has often ended up on the losing end. He certainly has been robbing side, but this is Devious Danny. The key word there being devious, and I've got a feeling he's going to be extra, extra devious in this match this afternoon. And he's going to have to be to overcome the law and not to say nothing of the two other men in this contest. Now here's the unknown quantity in this one, Clark Andrews. I've yet to see Jay Morgan in the UKPW ring before today. Now why don't we just let the man himself tell us all about what he stands for? He caught up with backstage interviewers before this match to tell us his thoughts. Hi, I'm Daisy and I'm here with Jay Morgan. What are your thoughts on your upcoming match? I think that, quite frankly, my UKPW debut, I think I'm going to tear the house down. I think, even though we look like we're in Devious Danny's house right now, I mean, seriously, I thought this place had some decorum. Apparently not. But uh, I think Prince Dean, the stupid bubblegum, or whatever he calls it, I think he's not got much of a chance. I think the only real threat in this match is uh, the law, but every, every law has its loopholes. And introducing the final participant. Rob, can you feel it? I can, Clark Andrews. Can you sense it? The bubbles. The bubbles are here. And you know what the bubbles mean, Rob Ringside? I do, Clark Andrews, but I want you to tell the Grapple fans. The bubbles mean it's Prince Dean! Look at that, Clark Andrews, the bubbles are flying thick and fast, as will the high-flying and offensive manoeuvres of one Prince Dean. It's Prince Dean, he's a big fan favourite here with our crowd this afternoon. He's a big fan favourite wherever we go, but he does have some history with Basham in this match. As we know, Basham picking up the win at Parkwood Pandemonium last September. Not quite sure, despite that, what to make of Prince Dean right now. There's a lot of there's a lot of bubbles. Prince Dean, he's uh he's letting us know that he's in the ring. I think so. We love Prince Dean. Who doesn't? I think it's mutual. I think it's mutual.
Referee Tristan Stone calls for the bell, and we are officially underway. Here we go, Devious Danny was already on the, on the second rope there. Absolutely. That's the bell ring. Here we so go. We're sizing each other up. I'm going to chat to the crowd. Lots of people chatting back and forth with the crowds. Whole dialogue going on, but guys, this is a wrestling match. Absolutely. It's supposed to have a, a fatal four-way winner. It's not a talk-off, not a debate. Time for that comes later at the post-show. Basham just observing what's going on right now. Almost amused by the interplay here. He's, he's just going to let them. Devious Danny Princeton shaking hands. Uh, and both go for Whoa! Basham. Oh, but Basham straight away with a double clothesline. And Jay Morgan's trying to get in, but Basham, look at this. Power. We, we talk about this every time, Clark Andrews, but just the power of Lewis Basham. Just pure strength. We do. Basham is letting everyone know straight away who the big man is. But look at that, that's a chop there by Jay Morgan. Look at that. That's a big shot there from Basham. And straight away onto Devious Danny and onto Dean. Look at this, he's just throwing everyone around very early. And here comes the first wow. suplex of the match. And oh, did you wow. hear that, Robert Side? The clearance that Devious Danny got from the ground there was nothing short of incredible. Him up into the corner, Prince Dean, uh, just throwing them around like they're toys. Steve's Danny meanwhile trying to take advantage of Lewis Basham's distraction to work his way in. But is this going to end things early? Oh, oh, look at that nice telegraphs. reversal there by Devious Danny. Telegraphs that full Nelson slam with an arm drag. Look, he's looking for a civil matter. Oh, oh, look at my that. My goodness, did you see the power there? And Basham, he's now got Dean up. Is he going for oh. a drop kick there by Jay Morgan? Jay Morgan hits a drop kick and knocks him out of commission. Oh, a knee to the face and a clothesline and takes Basham over the top over rope. The top rope. Look at that. That's what it takes to take out Basham. All three men taking him out. Three men remaining in the ring. I spoke too soon. Two. We're now down to Dean and Danny in the ring. Now, of course, there is no count out in the fatal four-way. What would be the sense? We now have two men rocking and rolling in the ring. Basham and Jay Morgans either recover or fight each other. They might. Yeah, that is That's awesome. an impressive athleticism for both men. Just takes the leg out from Devious Danny. Goes for a cover, but only a one. Very early pin for that by Prince Dean. Leg out from Dean this time. Cover of his own. Two. See there by Danny. Let's see what Danny's got. These two fan favourites here squaring off against each other. Yes, indeed. Both high flying individuals met. In fact, somebody spotted something. It looks like Basham was trying oh, to get in. And pair of baseball Danny slides. Taking out Jay Morgan's in the corner there. A pair of baseball slides means these two men are now in the ring, except Prince Dean's making his way out there. There's Jay Morgan's is now back in the ring. He's up there with Davis Danny. Tries for the for kick. kick. Caught by Danny. Oh, oh, big back elbow. See Look at that. that. By Devious Danny. Strong elbow there. Just to jump into maybe a Fez press, but Jay Morgans catches him. Now they're just trading shots. Big shove. Takes Danny off the ropes. Oh, time to drop. That's the one. That's the one. The crowd. The crowd know that move for Robert Ringside. Prince, Prince Dean almost went for someone in the audience. Uh, Prince Dean, you're supposed to be the fan favourite. Absolutely. Why, Dean? Why? Oh, as he catches Jay Morgan. The strength of Prince Dean is not to be underestimated. Wow! Just spins him round into an Uranage style manoeuvre. Very impressive strength indeed from Prince Dean. Oh, look at Prince Dean. He's the size enough, Jay Moore. He's going for Devious Danny as well. What's he going to do with Devious Danny here? Just whip him to the corner. Oh, oh big drop kick there. Danny hits a drop kick. Dean measuring up for something of his own. Tuning up some sort of music, musical ensemble. Oh, big kick to the midsection. As Jay Morgan just slumps into the bottom corner. Dean feels it. Do you feel Is it? He, he's going for it. It's the best wrestling move of all time. Here, Here he goes. It is. It's a Bronco Buster. Buster. Uh, 
Davies is now suggesting is he that Davies, Danny. Danny. Davies Danny's not a Bronco Buster expert, but nevertheless, he's going to have it's a go. A, oh, wow! Oh, there we go. One of his own. It's Impressive the stuff Devious Buster, Danny. I believe. Devious Buster, yeah, there we go. He can have that, I think. We'll put it in public domain. Meanwhile, Basham eyeing up that gavel. He has got that gavel, and that's the one. He's making it, his it, way out to gavel. the outside. Off the second rope. Oh! No! Just drops, taken down Lewis Basham. And Jay Morgan's looking to capitalise on a move that would have taken something out of both men. Meanwhile, Danny. Seeing out something going on outside, makes his way to the What's top. Oh! oh! Wow! That's Just somersaults into three men on the outside. And that's why he is the devious Danny right in front of our crowd here in Maidstone. The kiddies love it. It's flips and stuff, they love that stuff. They do love the flips. And rightly so, right. rightly so. We all love the flips here in UKPW. We are. Clark Andrews and Rob Brinks are the team flips for the Raiders. Prince Dean. Jay Morgan and Danny on exchanging. But Prince Dean, Springboard top rope. Oh, looks like Doesn't Basham quite catch him. him. Oh! Bye bye, Mon. That is not cricket. Ordinarily against the wrestling law. But in a fatal four way, there is also no disqualification. That's very true on ringside. And Jay Morgans, I think he knows that all too well. And that's why he goes for that. Prince Dean ducks down. It's a knee. Forearm across the back. Prince Dean, he's having a great show in here, Prince Dean. Absolutely. A little bit more aggression in this time. In his style of the over. I did was Danny and Prince Dean just gently exchanging moves. Good to hoist him up. Devious Danny's lifting him up. Oh! oh! Look at that there by Devious Danny. Across the back of the neck, just driving that knee into Prince Dean's neck. Meanwhile, just face first goes Danny to the canvas. And Jay Morgan is the last one standing in the ring, although maybe I spoke too soon. Basham is behind him and looks enraged. Oh, he's trying to get it. that full Nelson up. Oh, wow. He's there by Jay Morgan. Jay Morgan, he Very is smart. bending the rules as well. Oh. Look at that. He hit Lewis Basham with a spine buster. You he don't see that do. often. But the cover is broken up by, I couldn't tell if it was Dean or Danny, maybe both. Maybe. Jay Morgan's going for the spine buster of Basham. Usually it's the other way round. Yes, indeed. Basham doing those spine busters. Yes, indeed. It's Dean and Danny. Encouraging this crowd here at Maidstone to get behind them. Although there can only be one winner in a fatal four way, so alliances are always uneasy. Measure up for a double team. Suplex, maybe. What do we think? Here we go. And big big time. suplex there ah, by Dean and Danny. Big air. Jay Morgan hits the canvas. Danny taking advantage. Oh, so that's Dean's job. Flurry of blows. Crosses the arms. And wow! Oh, big move Danny there by driven Dean. to the mat. Is that enough? One, two, oh, Jay Morgan. Jay Morgan breaks up the split. Basham seething on the mat, making his way to his feet. Could be pain, could be rage. Oh! Big DDT. Speaking of pain, huge DDT from Jay Morgan's on Prince Dean there. And all four men are in various states of on the ground. Basham is uneasily first to his feet. Jay Morgan's just behind. Speaking of just behind, full uh, Nelson slam! That must be it. There we go. One, two, three. And, and that'll it's do it. Over just like that. Basham is your winner. Grapple fans, your winner, the law, Lewis Basham. Well, there you have it, Grapple fans. A spirited performance from all four men to take nothing away from Jay Morgan's Prince Dean and Devious Danny. But what matters is the three count. And on this occasion, Clark Andrews, that's gone to Lewis Basham. Talk us through that finish. On this occasion, on previous occasions, on all occasions, as soon as Basham hits that full Nelson slam, it is over no matter who you are. One, two, three, Basham with the victory.
Greetings Grapple fans, welcome to Lock Meadow Maidstone. This is Showdown, Rob Ringside alongside Clark Andrews and we are looking at New York, New York's finest, Delphine. That's right, Rob Ringside. He is from the place that's so good they had to name it twice. New York, New York, Delphine. Let's find out what he had to say about this match. Hi, I'm Daisy and I'm here with uh, Dolphin. What are your thoughts on your match? My name's not Dolphin, Kimmy. My name is Delphine, get it right. You know this, you've interviewed me before, Kimmy. Okay. Thoughts on my match? It's gonna go all right because things are looking good for Delphine ever since I tag team with Jay Alexander, who fortunately isn't here. I'm on my own. I'm on singles duty again, but it's fine. Jay's looking down from above. He's not dead, he's just really tall. And I'm gonna win it for him. Danger, deep water. Watch out, Nail, you're going swimming. So for Delphine to pick up a win today, he's going to have to overcome the hardcore heavy metal hero himself, the Nail. Clark Anders, we have not seen the Nail in a UKPW ring since his showcase street fight, which I know you remember well. We commenta commentated it together, easy for me to say, with Lewis Basham. Let me tell you how that match started off. I was there ready to introduce, and he just comes straight in right after Basham. What a contest that was. And uh, you're quite right, Rob Ringside. We haven't seen the nail in a little while, but he looks ready for this one. He certainly does. He looks Rob raring Rob to go. Rob I can't hear you. That's what I get. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I am the heavy metal hardcore hero. The So I want to try something with you lovely people today, if you'll indulge me. I want you guys to make some noise with me. So when I say heavy, you say no. Heavy! No. Heavy! No. Heavy! No. Yeah! There you go, Rob Ringside. The nail getting the crowd to chant heavy metal. What's the heaviest metal that you know, Rob Ringside? Ooh. One I have first-hand experience with or one I'm aware of? Either or. Bring the and we're off. Here we go, Delphine. Look at start this one early. Nail ducks through. Shoulder block. And another. Bird. Oh, he goes for a fourth, but Delphine telegraphs. Delphine playing up to the cameras there. Delphine, very experienced in singles competition. He may be a number one contender for those tag team titles with Jay Alexander, but let's not forget Jay. Delphine did start off in singles competition. He knows how to take on these matches. Yes, indeed, but now not interested in a count-out victory. Uh, Delphine, smart, moves away, frustrating the now. Delphine taking some time outside, but I think the nails pace is running. Oh, and look at that by Delphine. Very, very smart there. Now, Delphine wants no part of the nail. Probably wants to enjoy some psychological warfare. Absolutely. I think that's going to be the key to this match with Delphine. It's just going to try and frustrate the nail here. Ducks the clothesline. Oh! Big drop kick there by Delphine. Beautifully done by Delphine. First cover of the match. One, two, and kick out there by the nail. Seems to take it out of the nail there. Delphine sizing up the nail. And with Delphine, Delphine I think wants, wants a part of the audience as well. Crowd very much in favour of the nail in this contest. Good play roll. 
into the corner. And oh, big splash there by the male. And now there he goes, just going straight there for Delphine. Delphine is stuck in that corner. Tristan Stone trying to break it up. Oh, and there's a rake right to the eyes. I don't think Tristan saw it. Over the shoulder. Referee Tristan Stone and the nail just swinging blind. Still nursing that eye. And now Delphine just chopping the chest of the nail. Big chops there. Advantage of the fact that the nail can't really see where he is right now. And as he keeps on throwing those wild, wild shots, but keeps on missing. Where Delphine, on the other hand, is just going to continue with the punishment here. Yes, indeed. Starting to taunt the nail. That's through. Another oh, shot. On. Every single corner. And pick them up for a big suplex. Look at that. Well executed by Delphine there. And the cover. One, two, and kick out there by the nail. Crowd taught in Delphine, and Delphine is giving it right back to the crowd. Big kick there to the back of the, the nail there. Yes, indeed. The nail not looking too favourable at the moment in terms of momentum. Delphine very much enjoying the early spell of dominance here in this one. Delphine, of course, before pairing up with Jay Alexander, was on a bit of a losing streak. Picked up a couple of victories, but it's never been said that he's that's for a lack of technical ability. It's obviously a skill with the best. Absolutely. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. But Delphine, he will do anything it takes to win this one. Yeah, I just noticed that. I'm not sure referee Tristan Stone has felt the same way. Because once again, the nail nursing those eyes. And Tristan Stone checking them in the corner. And Delphine is going to be antagonizing from further back. And just stomping the chest. Big kicks there. Continuous kicks here by Delphine into that turnbuckle. Picks him up for a big. Is this going to be a body slam? Big body slam sure there is. by Delphine. Just now a little run the centre of the ring. One, two, and another kick out there by the nail. It's going to take a lot more than that to make the nail lose this one, I think. Yes, indeed. Delphine just applying pressure to the neck of the nail. So taking breath out of the nails once again is smart when he has that high risk offense to pull out of the arsenal. And it looks like the nail is throwing some momentum here, trying to fight back. Oh, oh big wow. elbow there into the chest, and another one. She's rocking Delphine, the power of those elbows. And look at that, Delphine straight away getting into the back of the nail and picks him up for another body slam. That must be so bad. Oh, and then a knee to the face. Have a cover. One, two, and a kick out there. And another, another one. one. To be outdone. I think Delphine knows that he's not going to get the victory. He's just playing with the nail at the moment. Yes, indeed. It does seem to be all Delphine at this present time. But as we know, the nail himself is a seasoned veteran. All it will take is one move, and he can swing the momentum very much back in his favour. Nobody would know that more keenly than Delphine. Absolutely, the nail, he, he, very, very resistant is the nail here. Oh, and look at that, now he's got a rake to the eyes of Delphine. Oh, and now into the corner here. Now they're just trading blows. Big chop there by the nail. Delphine just making his way for the relative safety of the corners. Oh! Ooh. The crowd felt that one. This time it's the nail's turn to enjoy some... Swing and a miss, followed by a big chop. Some big chops here by the nail. Oh, hear that one from here. Yeah, some distance away, the fans. Rolls off the ropes. Oh, oh double, close double close line. line. Both men are down. The count from Tristan Stone has started. Yes, indeed. Both men have until the count of 10 to stand before this match is ruled a no contest. Like Delphine is closer, although I don't know why I say things. It's just they just second guess me. Both men up, to their, up feet. to their feet. Delphine looks to be the 
Oh, fresh at the two. Ducks a, oh, no, ducks a close line, hits one of his own. No. Big back elbow. Nail fighting back. And he drops Delphine. There we go, look at that. Big spinning backbreaker cover. Oh, one of his own. And oh, close, close count there. Nail working up this crowd. Into the ropes. And a spin out power bomb. Ah, beautiful there by the nail. One, two, and another oh, kick out there by Delphine. I believe it's called a blue thunder bomb. Blue thunder bomb. But this time Delphine kicked out. I don't know about blue thunder. I think it's going to be red thunder, judging by Delphine's back there. The double arm going for that DDT, but Delphine drives him into the corner. And just driving the air out of those lungs. Step up into Yuri. Uh, we're seeing a lot of this in this match. Uh, just working those corners there. Getting some good finds, both men, but I think Delphine's just got the upper hand at the moment here. Yes, indeed, as he measures out from corner to corner. Goes for it, and oh, Rush look at that by now. Delphine nearly falls. to stay on his feet, and then drops to the bottom. Drops to the outside of the ring, taking the nail's head into the top rope with him. Delphine, Delphine climbing up top. You don't see this a lot from Delphine. Doesn't go well for the nail, as he measures up. And goes for the cross oh, body, but the it. nail ducks through. The nail managed to avoid that cross body. The nail is getting the crowd behind him here. Is this going to be the turning point? Oh, big oh, kicks. Huge kick to the midsection. Oh, and another one. Hear the power of those kicks. I want one more. Looking for a bit of extra venom. Delphine pops up. Smart move. Oh, oh big jumping knee. Big knee there by Delphine. Hooks him up. Uh, oh, oh! Drapes him across the knee. Is that it? The back One, of the head. two, and, and oh, a kick out from the nail. Kick out there by the nail. Unbelievable. The nail showing absolutely no ring rust here. He has said he hasn't seen for a little while. But he's still Delphine there, he's still kicking out. In the top row, measuring up for something high, flying. Oh, splash, but nobody home. And the nail has the chance to capitalize. Hoist him up, Big body slam. Body slam. Oh, I think I know what's coming here, Rob Ringside. I think you're right. I think he's calling, he's pointing to that elbow. And it looked like he was scaling the turnbuckle for something like a moonsault, but he's up the top. This is Calling what the for it. veteran does. This is one of the best elbow drops you will see in UKBW. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, connects with the elbow drop, and that's got to do it. One, two, and oh, oh my goodness, he kicked a, out. A kick out there by Delphine, showing the resilience. Huge tenacity from Delphine. As now measures up for that double arm DDT. What's Delphine the, stamps a foot. And tries to put him into a backslide. One, two, and, and it's it got it's a over. victory! Look at that! Delphine is your winner! Grapple fans, your winner! Delphine! How about that, Grapple fans? Delphine picking up a victory out of nowhere, Clark Andrews. Absolutely right, and that's that's why Delphine is you've got to watch out for him whether it's in singles competition tag competition this is what delphi does as he's getting chased away by the audience here the crowd not happy with what they've seen i think they're chasing crowd, him with small crowd, small animals the crowd are letting delphi know what they think of him vicious crowd here at mainstone
Greetings Grapple fans, welcome back to the Lock Meadow Entertainment Centre in Maidstone. Rob Ringside and Clark Andrews at Ringside and this rumble promises to be so huge we cannot commentate alone. We are privileged to be joined on commentary by Prince Dean and Delphine. Gentlemen, welcome to the commentation station. Ah, next UKPW Tag Team Champion right here baby. Honoured to call this rumble. Ooh. What an emotion I've had to have to sit next to Rob Ringworm. Oh, it's terrible, it's terrible. I'm disappointed in our antagonism, Dean. I hope we can work through this by the end of the Rumble. But we're here to call the action, and call the action we shall. That's right, Rob Ringside. I can't wait for this one. Delphine, Prince Dean, and uh, Ringside is so excited, he's even standing up for this one. Yes, we are at a premium of chairs, and the 21st century workplace demands standing desks. Today at the Lock Meadow Centre, I, the King of Chaos, Keith Chaos, I'm coming to enter the Rumble. And do you know what I'm going to do in this Rumble? I'm going to punch him, and I'm going to kick him, and I'm going to smash him. <laughs> then I'm going to pick him up, and I throw him to the left, and I throw them to the right, and I will throw them over that top rope and show everybody why I am the King of Chaos. It's a good yeah, point. Yeah, it tested. Yeah, absolutely. that's true, actually. But as a family-friendly broadcast, we're going to assume it's a soft drink. Absolutely, Rob Ringside. It's going to be chaos in this ring this afternoon for this 30-man Royal Rumble match. I mean, it's chaos at the commentary desk with Dean and Delphine here. Absolutely. Just having four of us is chaos enough. Imagine there could be as many as 30 competitors in the ring at any one time in this match. Oh, Although, got a crowd well. people on commentary by this, this rate. He's you got sat, a crowd. Sat me next to Dolphin, maybe you sign a contract name. Name. to say that we can't have a, any combat over here. We just said play nice. There was no contract. Contracts involved. I signed something. Oh, well, that I, might be I something. Mean, I, don't, I don't know who Was gave it, it to me. Uh, to be honest, I couldn't really read it. It certainly, wouldn't be, it certainly wouldn't be an autograph. I faxed it to Jay Alexander and he just gave me a thumbs up emoji. So I just, I just Where is he today? He's up above. He's up above. He's up above. He's really tall. Oh He's my not goodness, dead. I'm so sorry. He's oh, not right, dead. Don't worry. No, I was going to say. Tall boy. All right, and we're off. Here we go. Oh, he's got a chalice. Ah, look out, he's got a chalice. Before we start this match, we get everyone in Mason on one page with me! Theodore Powers working the crowd early on in this Rumble match. I hope Keith Taylor's shoes. Always an important part of any ring prep. He's a seasoned veteran, I would expect he would have tied his shoes. Oh, you never know these days, you never know. We'll find out, especially around Theodore, I think he... He unties shoes. He unties shoes backstage. I've seen it happen. Yeah. It's a menace. Whoa! Oh. Was that acid? I, I, I think it was blood. I heard we'll see how he got blood. <laughs> we'll see how he reacts. If it's acid, he'll probably start to clutch his face in the next few seconds. Yeah, there's usually a delayed reaction. Yeah, but not that delayed. Oh my god. Oh, big slap there by a theater. Theater's not powers. taking it. Here no. we go. Just forearms and uppercuts. Oh, Ducks one. Ducks two. Oh! Oh, what a head scissors. There's a lot of power in that move. It's chaos. Yeah, it is well, chaos. Line. It wasn't Keith causing it. No. Is it short for Keith recipients of chaos? Oh, I mean, that might be his little name. Like that. It's that might be his name. Where's Wendy? Where's Kieran Cross? Two years ago, I that's left them in my wake. Way down down the the desk. I left them in my wake. At your wake? Yes. I'm so sorry, Rob. No, in my way. No, ah, ah, rest ah. in peace, Wendy. <laughs> rest in peace, Rob. Meanwhile, chaos. back in the ring, Keith Chaos. Keith got a really quick win. Oh, fucking a suplex. 
I think he's going to send him to the heavens. What comes up? Oh. Must come down. Ah, there he's we got go. Very morbid on this. Let's let's bring the tone up ah, a little bit. That's, yeah, I've had a rough day. About to be joined by number three. I wonder who it could be. It's a very medicine countdown. It is very threatening. It's a nice sunny day. We're treated like this. All around the galaxy, people have known the name Perrigan Kelly. The Smy Circus, the greatest show in the galaxy, has entertained crowds all around the world, chanting PK, PK. But now, Perrigan Kelly comes to UKPW in Maidstone. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, oh what a clothesline. Takes his mind off things, I guess. There's some big I'll kicks here from Peregrine Kelly. Working this crowd here in Maidstone. Now in the corner. Keith Cow's looking to get involved. Peregrine Kelly with a hard man chain on there. It's a very hard chain. Yeah. I guess they sell down his galaxy. Yeah. Maybe he's sort of Argos in, in the galaxy. Minutes pass quickly in the UKPW. Yeah, yeah. It's like two minutes pass quickly. The rotations they? around the side might be different for the other galaxies. Here comes number four. Hey, oh my hey, god. Sergeant. No way. It's Will! Will West! It's Will West! It's I, Will, can't, Will West. I can't believe, I can't believe UKPW managed to secure a Will West appearance. I didn't know we had the funds. Will West is back from the wild, wild west. It is the Will! Dow Jones sold one of his houses, one of his many houses, to get Will West on the show. Well, the results are in the ring right now. I'm sure Dow Jones has many, many other houses. All green, painted green. A little top hat on them. It's a chimney. Will West taking it to the corners. Everyone's in the corners. Smart strategy. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Peregrine Kelly Dick walking up the field of Will, well, uh, look at that. Keith Chaos gouging the eyes of Will West there. Well, no disqualifications in a Rumble match. Oh, God, it's that noise again. Number five is imminent. Who's imminent? Who's it going to be? Who knows? It could be anyone. Hang on, wait a minute. Wait a second. What's going no, on here? What's seconds. going on here? What? Get the ref out the ring. Hey! What's wait a minute. Bro doing what? It? Tristan Tristan anyone Stone. in this? Tristan Nearly Stone. eliminated Theodore. He's going after the Bear alien. Beast. Not Will West. Tristan sees an opportunity sensing. Oh my god. Tristan's a house of fire. The crowd here absolutely hating Tristan Stone. Look at or that. nothing. I, I don't know what they're doing. The crowd's, they're, in, the crowd's in sense either they're, way. They're volatile. But wait I a mean, second. I mean, Tristan hasn't really accomplished anything. None of the eliminations Ever. were successful. Tristan Stone, what are you thinking? You'd hope the ref would know the rules. I question if they can even count to three oh, sometimes. Oh, referee Tristan Stone. Tristan is uh, Okay. It's gonna, gonna, gonna do a diving. The, Phoenix Splash! Wait. Oh. No, don't do oh. it! Don't do oh, it! Oh my god! Don't do it! Oh no! Tristan, oh, you'd no. have been my pick! Oh, 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 double oh, fuck stop! Oh, double oh, fuck stop, but no one was there! Tristan Stone has been eliminated! I thought it was gonna go first, all the way! Our first elimination is in the books. Oh, would have been trying my to get back in. Would have been my pick, but I didn't have time to choose it. Tristan no. Stone, Tristan's number five and number one. I think Tristan had to go because they've got a new Japan booking later today. That's true, that's true. It's a long flight as well, I don't know if they thought about it. Well, they've got to be there early as well. That's New Are Japan as opposed to Two traditional Japan. I meant New Japan Ken Brock. He is the future of British wrestling. Oh, it's the future. This is Raymond O'Reilly. United Kingdom Pro Wrestling. My name is Raymond O'Reilly and I'm the future of British professional wrestling. Now I'm coming here to UKPW to make my debut in this rumble and I'm going to win this rumble. I'm going to win this rumble because I'm the best there is out there today. That men in that ring do not know what they're going to expect from the future of British professional wrestling and that is perfection. I'll see you lot in the ring. It's not 
not singling out anyone oh, oh, from Petster. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, oh my God! God. Look at that. Impressive cutter from Raymond O'Reilly. On Keith Chaos there. What a way oh. to make an impression. Hates when people make noise. What a kick to the gut. He's yeah, got Steve Steve Powers is rocked by that one. The That's future. to be joined by number seven. Who's it going to be? Oh, fix the glasses. about to enter this rumble the ring crew no more how many layers is Levi on? Up, it's a very hot day Levi yeah. Levi oh! hits a cutter of his own look at that <laughs> Levi might get heat stroke yeah he's got at least two t-shirts oh, oh, going after the chaos oh. everyone to bring order to the match everyone goes after Keith Chaos Keith Chaos equal to the task on the apron, on on the the apron. guts Levi oh, back in the ring smart Oh, what oh, a DDT! Oh, DDT <laughs> rocks, Levi. Oh my god. Look oh, but Will West is there. Will West looking to get a new elimination on Keith Chaos. Look at the chaos that's happening in the ring right now. Oh, there's just more people coming. I can't keep track. <laughs> Who we got? Who we got? Entrance number eight, from Adrian South Wales, she is known as the Princess of the Ring, Cora Moon. We have wrestling royalty in the ring, Cora Moon, the Princess of the Ring. What a kick to the leg. Just gunning for Raymond O'Reilly. Yeah. Going after the future. The Princess of the Ooh, Ring, Prince Dean. Dean. Oh, the future start coming. Prince Dean, tell us about the Princess of the Ring. She family? She's, she's not a family member. She not Cody? She's not a family member. She's not Cody's mum. Nobody really knows. It's the ring she, she is a princess of. Have not matter. anything oh. outside of it. Have we checked her documents? Yeah, no, All I know, this shows by a drop kick. wrestling does have more than one royal family. Yeah, it's right there in the ring. There you go. What a commentary. Oh, oh they're teaming up on Raymond. The they're trying to end wrestling. If Raymond perishes, the wrestling's finished. Wrestling stops. We need That's Raymond true. to win this. Our true. job's on the line. You There's actually been, been so much wrestling, we might as well just stop. I don't know. I, I got a big match coming that. up. I hadn't thought about that until you guys had uh, pointed that out. Yeah, yeah. Wrestling is on the line, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. There's actually quite a lot riding on Raymond O'Reilly's presence in this rumble. Yeah, why, why is he so early? KPW, it's Nathan Blades. Now last week, me and my boys, we went after the top wolf. And now we're down here in Canterbury. Wait, no, that was last week. Sorry, my bad, both dump of a town. But the principle is, me and my boys, we're here tonight. We'll make an example out of, well, 26 other wrestlers. So grab your tickets, put in your deposits, make your bets, it's over. They take the time to go into the ring, but there, here it comes. Do you oh, have eight in competitors in the ring right now. They the blade looks confused. Is that the powers? Oh, oh my god! Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, powers. Oh, powers. Rocked by that one. We're about to be joined by number 10. We're a tenth of the way there. Oh, God. You know who it is. Big Bully Briggs making his way into this contest, bringing us up to te uh, nine. Excuse me, combats in the ring. That's right, nine in the ring after that shocking elimination of Tristan Stone. By Tristan Stone. That was what made it so shocking, I suppose. The yeah. bully Big is going to... Oh, oh, he's hot! Oh, you oh, oh. TKO! TKO to the future! Oh, oh, man, you know who it is! Big Bully Briggs! 
Big booty Michael Michael Briggs is bullying the future of the wrestling. He's taking the shirt off. He wants the people to see. Field of Powers, meanwhile, trying to steal it's his hat. Yeah. It's all happening in the ring. Pairing We're doing our there best. With Will West. Mm. Second down to the Will Will West. Ricky Will Will West. Oh, give it to me. These entrances are coming thick and fast. Yeah, that ring's filling up. We're going to end up with 10 in the ring. Oh, Nathan's going to save Levi. Nathan just punching 11. a young woman in the back of the head That's there. what he does. It's the Archie. Can we say that? I'm not sure. Oh, well, we I did. I don't think we thought that through. I don't it's know. Clear. KMTV. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. Hope See, no one reports that. Look how no. padded Austin is. He said that that's for everyone else's safety, not for his. He hits so hard, he needs to be that padded. Why, why is he protecting the other people, though, I wonder? The badass. Not win. The badass of MMA, but this is pro wrestling. He wants to win, he just wants to be nice. Yeah, but he wants to protect everybody. Yeah, else. he is a protect. Well, that's a nice, I mean, he's a nice guy. He's a nice, nice guy. He's yeah. a nice guy. He's 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 sort of like Clark and. It is a struggle to keep track nice of. Nice guy, but a bit slow. Uh -huh. Keep track of the chaos uh -huh. in the ring. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, Peregrine I, Kelly. I he's going to fly like a peregrine. What's a peregrine? Peregrine forward. He has a bird. I didn't know that. No, he's, right. Next. he's right, it is. We got someone else coming up. They can't really get better than this. Number 12 brings us to 11 in the ring. Here we got. Entry number 12. Ah! Oh, my oh, oh my god! Oh my god! No way! Oh, oh my god! god. What? It is the hometown hero. He's it's a true No! No! It's no. Not no Google I thought Pepe he was Jones. dead! It's not just wishful it's thinking, 18 I guess. 18 months! 18 oh. months since we've seen TLC jump Get him out of here! No. He's going after the future! This is what I was afraid of! The future and the local competitor going one on one! No! Right now, no! To the turnbuckle! Come on, Raymond! Local competitor oh. Joe has, has lost some hair since he was last here in the UKPW ring about 18 months ago. Ah, who's counting? You know, Billy Briggs measuring Peregrine Kelly. Joe. Cannonball in the corner. We're trying our best to bring in the actual folks, but there are 11 competitors oh my God, in the ring left. currently. Someone's out. We have it's an elimination. It's too much action. Can we slow it down, please? I'm, I'm going to slow. I'm gonna take a seat again. Oh, yeah, yeah, like Rob. Cora Moon. Cora, Cora Moon, Moon is our second elimination. What a shame. Get Joe out of there. Come on. Yeah, big Billy Briggs. You know who it is. Entry number four. اسمي ال نزيم وانا اللي بس بدي اقول لك فد شيء ما ي... كل واحد هنا ما يعرفون شنو اني اقول بس اني اقول واحد شيء اول شيء اني اربح اليوم هسه كل واحد منهم يعرفون من اسوي ستوبيد بيبل بلي ويبس ثيودور باورز اوف ذا روبس ثيودور باورز واو امبريسيف فروم ال نزيم ذاتس واي هيز ذا كردش كريبلا لوكينج تو اليمينيت ثيودور باورز وات ا سكور ويل بي if he Raymond's drinking Keith Chaos, his blood from oh the chalice. God. Not Keith Chaos, he's the Actual future. Blood. The blood in the chalice. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't do that. We can't drink blood on the show. Not on KMTV. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh my God, the padded man. Imagine the notes we'd get. I think the pads are keeping Austin him on. Austin looking stuck. to find his way back into this match. Nathan Blade looks to eliminate him. Oh, throwing some strikes. About to be Got Nathan Blade up against 14. the ropes. Entry number 14 from East London, weighing 12 stone 7 pounds, he is a member of Project Essie, he is an infamous influencer, Tom! Last week, in the main event against Ruff, we made a statement. But tonight, we make more than a statement. Tonight, Ty enters the rumble. So Maystone, I hope you're ready to rumble, because I'm coming. Big arm drag. 
Oh, what a takedown! Yeah. Look how warm he looks there. Yeah, yeah, I All think they're going to overheat. They look so warm. I, I mean, they've got overheat. a dress code. Lots Apart from Nathan Blade, who doesn't dress the same, but that is because he's an American football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that outfit's regulation. Is he the Super Bowl? Peregrine Kelly with a stiff kick. Oh, tied with one of his own. Alien. Nathan Blade gives him a two-on-one on advantage. Here we go. Peregrine Kelly fighting back here. Peregrine is like an alien under the mask. So disgusting. So. It would explain the high flying. Who knows? It looks Speaking like the high flying. Time. Time. Oh, still with it. Just it. skinning the look cat. At that. It's Mickey. It's Mickey. Feel it out. Terrell. Toretto. Terrell. She gained a surname. I am Maystone's own Vicky Two Thumbs. And I am here at Lock Meadow to win the Lock Meadow Royal Rumble. And you know what? Last time at the dockyard, I won the Battle Royal. So I'm going to do it again because I got that tenacious energy. I got that fighting spirit. I got that self-belief. And that will help me win this match. Oh, big bully Briggs is going to bully Vicky Two Thumbs here. But Vicky Two Thumbs fighting. Oh, look at that. That big kick there by big bully Briggs. Competitor, competitor giving it the tie. The children beating up Keith Chaos. I believe they will claim antagonism. An elimination. Another elimination. Al Nazim. Al Nazim. Oh, Will West. Will He's going West down. Still in there. Will West oh is not eliminated. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. I agree. Uh. You've got to be careful when facing the emo rash boys that you don't catch their rash. It's true. Yeah. It's true. That's why I avoid them. Yeah. Have you seen the state of Andrew's jet? Meanwhile, Theodore Powers has managed to incapacitate Nathan Blade with nothing more than a t-shirt. Ted oh, Saber going amazing. off the big booty Nathan bricks Blade here. Out by the second rope. No elimination. Ted Saban taking no prisoners. He's going after whoever he can get his hands on. Got more people coming. How'd you know it'd be a person? Oh, that's a good point. I did see a dog earlier. That's no way to speak about TLC Joe. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> what do we got? And just like that, the Emo Trash Boys have their numbers bolstered by the pace setter himself as Andros J makes his way to the ring, taking his time quite That's smartly. He's setting the pace. He wants it real slow. Yeah, he wants to. Oh, Big Bully Briggs! Oh! oh! Big Bully Briggs has been eliminated by Austin Archies, who is very pleased with himself, and who can blame him? You know who it was. It was Big Bully Briggs. Oh, as Theodore Powers, oh, Powers. takes his eye off Austin Those Archies. Are an advantage, might suffer for it. You think they're loaded? Have we checked them? There's, there's got to be stones. And to say, oh, look at that by Andros J. Andros J is just upset that My Chemical Romance haven't released an album in about 14 years. Has it pretty been 14 years, Princeton? I think so. Ask Andros J. A bunch of shirtless children on the outside. I don't like this. Ian Wright! Fire. Ian That's Wright? It's Ian Wright. Not Ian, Ian Wright. <laughs> Ian Wright! <laughs> Looks a bit different. Well, Clark Andrews it's not it. footballing legend That's Ian, Ian Wright. Rise, Eden. Eden Rise, local Maidstone hero. Not as local as Not as local, yeah, come on, come on. No, true. That's disrespectful. I, I don't know how local, I don't know how deep we plot this. Eden Rides is going to rise to the occasion here. Look at this. It's going after everyone and anyone. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, now right couldn't yet. get him over the rope. Yeah, he's powering through. Oh, look at that. Some strength from Eden Rides. Trying to 
eliminate on the outside there as we count down to number 19. Dearest audience, I am Adrian Zaffon, and I'm entering this rumble to destroy all these unworthy so-called heroes who think they're going to win and please the crowd. I am the disruptor, and I will claim victory. Andros, Andros Jage Andros working over Vicky Two Thumbs in the corner. We've got Ted Sabin working over Nathan Blade. Eden. Every corner, a bit of action. Eden Rise working on the future of British wrestling. Eden, please. I need this job. Theodore Power is hanging his pint on the top rope. Right. From Cambridge Wells, winning 12 shows. This is who the mods? Who the mods? Damn it! Who I wanted to say it. I've, I've been working on that material for a week. Who the mods? Or as I like to call him, Yay Lamont, because he is one of our top faces here in UKPW. Yes, Shut indeed. up, Clark Andrews. We are now you two, like th we know two thirds of the way through this two rumble thunder. in terms of com combatants. A handful of eliminations, and this ring is filling up. Twentieth of the way in. Two thirds. Huh? Twenty out of thirty. Oh, two thirds. This says he was number twenty. He is number twenty. Yeah, the thirty. Yeah, he's Shut up, Rob. Rob's on the open. Local competitor going after the future. Local competitor yeah, is the future. I don't know. I don't know. The future's lighting up. Tyler Walker making his way to the ring, a face we know all too well. No, the future's out! The future of wrestling cancelled! You were the future! You've destroyed wrestling! Oh, I'm out of a job! Oh, I thought he was alright. What a spear! Oh, spear by Tyler Walker! Don't spear I've ever seen! Tyler Walker is a face we know well. He was within mere inches of becoming the UKPW champion out of nowhere against Alexander Roth at our last event. Did not come out with the belt on this occasion, but he can make a name for himself in a whole different way today by picking up the victory. Tyler We've had Walker. other eliminations, folks, but it is hard to keep track of the action. And there are so many bodies in the ring. Project SE do have a lot of people. They're playing the numbers game, yes, I indeed. think. They currently occupy about four members of yeah. Project SE. Could be as many as 25% of the ring is Project SE. I mean, everyone else could just team up against them, but, you know. My name is Straight Sauce John Day. I'm the young pretty boy of Southeast Asian professional wrestling, youngest veteran in Singapore professional wrestling, and your mother's favorite professional wrestler. And I've made my way to UKPW today to enter the Rumble and show UKPW that I'm just that guy. And I'm going to win the Rumble because I'm really good and your mum loves me. I do believe he is you your mum's favorite wrestler, oh. Rob Ringside. I mean, she has a variety, varied and eclectic set of tastes, Clark Andrews, but yes, John Day is up there. Today oh, oh, is oh, a wow. John Day! Very impressive German suplex. We'll find out, we'll find out. Going after, he's going after all of SC15. Fisherman saying, team up against like a fisherman suplex. Oh, look at that man, my straight source, John Day. Are they fish in Singapore? Are they SC15? Yeah, I mean, it's an island. <laughs> that doesn't mean they fish, you know? Whoa, what a stutter! Tyler Walker not enjoying that one. Letting him know about it. We're about to be joined by number 23. Agent 23, hailing 
from 1066 country, weighing 11 stone, 11 pounds, the Brockman Grand of Genesis. This is Christian Craw. Christian Mott. Sorry, Delphine, I thought you were introducing the wrong person, but you're right, Boo Lamont has indeed been eliminated. Boo Hoo Lamont! Shot. Boo! Somebody else got eliminated. Austin Archie's eliminated. Everyone's clearing out now. MMA will, must seek their new hero. Dana White is crying. Yes. Into notes and notes. <laughs> More bars of money. Although somebody hit a TKO earlier, I'm sure he gets a couple of pennies. Yeah, 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 you have to pay him a little bit. Yeah, now Wrestling yeah. royalties? Yeah, now for any times of the word TKO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got paid for saying his name, you know. I just did that three times, so, you know, you're welcome, Dana. Here we go. 24, hailing the world's end in Hampshire, weighing 12 stone 13 pounds. This is Matt. Redacted? Redacted? What, what has he done? Did he come what, what has he done? Get him out of here! Matt I want to speak to someone about this. Has it not been DBS checked? Have any of them? Have you? We've had an elimination, Grapple fans. Trying to get confirmation. John Day was the one that was eliminated, I believe. But Matt Redacted might have a background as a former judo competitor or a collegiate amateur wrestler. But apart from that, information is very hard to come by. Have you tried Googling him? Why do, why do we oh, have a criminal on the show? Oh, pop-up headbutt from Nathan Blade. A criminal on the show? You mean Rob Briggs? Oh, I mean, you cannot prove that, Prince For the benefit of... of he he looks to be funny. I, I cover my tracks Dolphin. expertly. Rob, Rob looks to be funny. Have we met? Dolphin. Have we met? Yeah. I think we have. What happened last week? Where's your son? Back in the caravan. He's just... He's sensitive. It's DK Williams! Donkey Kong! DK Williams making his Take debut. In the room. DK as Williams! At UKPW and as a professional Levi wrestler today. DK Williams. Levi has been eliminated, but what a way for DK Williams to announce himself and potentially winning this Rumble could be a heck of a statement of intent. Uh, what I mean, a day everyone wants to be. win this Rumble. Absolutely. So this Rumble's a big deal. Get out of the way. Through blocking our entranceway here. It's hard enough to see from the commentation station. So it's much a packed action. house. And there's so much action going on in the with ring. The, with the prize money, DK Williams might be able to get a belt. What does DK stand for? I think it's that encyclopedia company. Maybe that's how. representing them. Maybe. I want a sponsorship. Cletus? Cletus. 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 No, he's a cannonball. He is young, but Cletus. Is Came out of the womb like a cannonball. The teenage sensation. Pog Cletus Pog Pog Cannonball. Pog Our apologies and our sympathies to Mrs. Cannonball if that turns out to be true. The comeback kid. Stunner! Oh! Stunner! Big Cletus Stunner. Stunner! Trading shots with Ted Saban. Good luck. Cletus ah! Stunner again! Ah! Rocking Ted Saban. About to be joined by entrant 27. Lucky number, lucky number. Yeah, you don't hear that one very often. Good for uh, you. Oh, competitor going after DK. Here we go. Entrant 27, Tom Lundberg, weighing in at 18 stone, 13 pounds. He is the slave factor. This is Gamble. Slay is the name of the game. And as far as I'm concerned, nobody does it better than Gambit. So bring your toughest warriors, because at Lock Meadow, I'm winning this rumble. Famous Just hard wow. unloading on Nathan Blade. Sashaying over to that corner. Just clearing house. Gambit is slaying the competition oh, we got, right we now. We got more people coming in. It don't stop. Oh my God. And Tyler Walker has been eliminated. SE15 in shambles. Project Whole SE. Poster. Now down to, looks like one and two in the ring. 
Tenacious. Tenacious. Tenacious Tommy Young. There's going to be a tenacious off. You yeah. can just feel it. You can just feel it in the air. There's going to be a tenacious off. Oh, there has to be. ran straight into Gambit. Maybe not then. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Tommy Young's may be tenacious, but is he always tenacious like Vicky Tufa? Face buster. We have to find out. A lot on the line. It's oh, Local oh, 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 Yes! Oh, Get out of here! No. Get out of here! Local I thought the local has been here. Idiot! I thought the local Go back home. was going to bring it home. Tommy He's local. That's not a. That's not a. Tommy Young's has been eliminated. Tommy Young. Wait, already? Who we got next? What? Who we got next? I think we need some talent in this ring. Well, wait, hang on, hang on. I, I, don't actually have, I don't actually have any notes on who's, who, who else is, is next. Who, yeah, it's who, a surprise. We got to see who drew. We got to see who drew. Who drew? I drew. Oh, wow. What? 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 What's going what? on in here? What are you doing? That, no, that doesn't even make any sense. What? That doesn't even make any sense. What? He's holding back. He's up been and comers. He's this been is with your details, Dean. This is this, this is, is a rumble it's interrupted for, into chaos for young up and coming talent. And Delphine is there, holding people back, holding people down. It makes no sense. It is disappointing to see, Dean. Oh. This is a showcase of up and coming talent. We're using this to amplify up and coming wrestlers. And Delphine has come in. Delphine's just holding people back and holding people down, taking it's the space. Meant to be a spectator. I can't believe what I've just seen. I'm incensed with just anger. Who, who's, number, who's, who's the final entrant? Well, I mean, the person coming in at number 30 has to have an advantage just from being the freshest. I, I, it'll be a great position for anyone that comes in. I, I couldn't agree more, Dean. Joining us once again from the What? What are you doing? This is not a demotion. Prince this is Dean! Not, this is not a demotion! Rob Ringside, what's happening here? I am beside myself, Clark Andrews! I can't believe what He's I'm He's left this right bubble now. machine here and everything! I know! It's full! Right. <laughs> Prince Dean, enter it's in the full. ring! This is not a demotion! Hell, I've had enough of this! I can't believe it! How comes we didn't get an entrant into the Rumble This Rock? notion that the commentation station is some sort of runner-up prize drives Rob Ringside insane! Del Delphine, Prince Dean, First time on commentary, straight into the rumble. Dow Jones, Dow Jones, tell us why? Why, 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 why do they, everybody see this commentation station as a silver medal? I've had enough of this. It's, I mean, it's the, it, I love the commentation station. I know you do, you I appreciate someone it. someone else who loves the commentation station. I think it's Fentos that loves the commentation station. I think, we'll have it then. He's indifferent apparently. Oh, he does, oh, okay. Is this where you're telling right. us your entrant 31, Dow Jones? Well, I have been known to pay off for an extra spot, but more importantly, I realized just earlier that this is the largest battle royal of any kind in Kent. And that was a rolling Canadian destroyer. That's right, rolling Canadian destroyer. He's not content to do it once. He's got hit it again. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Dean destroyer. I tell you what, they behaved themselves at the commentation station, but they Delphine's not behaved. Oh, oh no, Delphine's no. out. Well, that's what you get. That's what you get. I can't believe what we've just witnessed. And Cletus Cannibal eliminated as well. I feel Look less strongly that. about that one. I mean, why are there so many bubbles? Wow! Oh, Gambit has gone. That is definitely not a sleigh. Dean is cleaning house here. What an incredible day we've had here in Lock Meadow. Wow. Meanwhile, Matt Redacted has been removed from this competition. Has he been redacted from this competition? I, I suppose so. It's been edited to clean out. Delphine! I, Delphine, don't give me any chip. I'm just here filling in for you. Delphine saying he's going to fix this. Don't know what he's going to fix. fix. What's he going to fix? Delphine's working his way around the ring. What is Delphine well, going to do? Well, rise on the outside. Oh, no. Get it. What's Delphine doing? Oh, no. Oh, wait gone, a minute. He's gone straight for Dean. Oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. Oh, Surely this is that can't be well. legal. Oh, and Dean and Dean Delphine, Delphine taking out it. not content to trade shots at the commentation station. They're now doing right. it ringside. I, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to have to get involved to break them up because they're not going to break up themselves. No, go, go. Do what you need uh, to do. Now Dale Jones is leaving the commentation station. Rob hey, ringside, what's, go, what's happening I'm here? I'm trying to make sense of it all, Clark Andrews. Let's get back to what's happening in the ring. We are down to our final four. We are. We, we have the Emo Trash Boys, Ted Saban and Andros J. We have 
Theodore Powers and Vicky Two Thumbs. And we're joined on commentary by Fentos. Because why Fentos. not at this point? Let's everybody Fentos. have a go. Are you, are you entrant 32, Fentos? No, it looked like everyone was having fun, so I thought I joined in as well. All right, good, good, good. All right. Yeah. So that's the right reason to join the commentation station. It is spilling out across the entire complex here at Lock Meadow. I don't think I've ever seen before a rumble where everyone left in the ring are just taking a break. I think this is a first for professional wrestling. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're just taking a breather. Can you blame them? They, I mean, especially Theodore Powers. Theodore Powers has been in this. It's number one. Absolutely. Theodore Powers has earned a break as much as anyone. Absolutely. And let's not forget Vicky Two Thumbs as well. Been in since entrant 15. Yes, yeah. indeed. The, the freshest by the numbers is Andros J, who came in at number 17. But even then, they've all been in there a fair old while. Yeah, I think they're all at a level playing field now, to be honest. Yes, indeed. I think with some chance to recuperate and recover. This is definitely a precursor to the Tag Team Championship. Oh, no, actually, no, that happened last time, didn't it? It did, yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, what? Well, no, there's almost certainly some bad blood spilling over from that. You're quite right, Francis, because, of course, in order to get the number one contendership, J. Alexander and Delphine won against the two-man day trip. So Prince Dean was on the losing end on that day. A series of low growls. <laughs> Ted, oh. The big OC Dave O'Connor restoring money. order here as we get to our final four. And here we go. No, no alliances. There can only be one winner. Now the Emo Trash Boys will no doubt have the numbers advantage, but at the same time, there can only be one winner. Well, let's find out who that's going to be. All four people in the ring are incredibly pale, but with the half an hour they've spent lying in the ring waiting for Prince Beautifully, Delphine. beautifully bronze. <laughs> yes. Vicky Two Farms and Vidal Power taking it to the Emo Trash Boys. Whips off the ropes, but the Emo Trash Boys reverse. Ducking clotheslines. Oh, oh big, kick there. big drop kick and a karate kick from Vicky Two Thumbs. The always tenacious Vicky Two Thumbs. They are working the crowd up. Working as a team, though once again, how long will that alliance hold? Alliances in the Rumble are always uneasy. What do we call this team? These oh! Two? I think, that, let's call them Vicky Power Thumbs. A meeting of the for. minds for the Emo Trash Boys, not the kind they'd like. And Theodore Power is calling for an elimination. As we try to process what's been going on, try and bring order back to proceedings. Meanwhile in the ring, Theodore Powers and Vicky Two Thumbs look to eliminate the Emo Trash Boys to go Andros J. Oh! oh into the turnbuckle Launches there. Theodore Powers into that second turnbuckle. Andros J. Hits and the post. Oh, it looks like they're going to try and eliminate now, Vicky Two Thumbs here. Meanwhile, the double team is on. Emo Trash Boys trying to take advantage of Theodore Powers being briefly incapacitated by trying to eliminate Vicky Two Thumbs in the interim. Thus leaving them to, what, call it a mutual? A mutual victory. I have still not seen Prince Dean and I assume that he is drowned in the water. Yep, I, we, we can only express our sympathies if that holds to be true. Meanwhile, in the ring, our condolences for Princess Dean. Andros J looking to double team manoeuvre. Ted Saban. Oh! oh! Look at that. Blackjack cutter combo. Andros J, Ted Saban wiping out Vicky Two Farms. It looks like it's going to be good night for Vicky Two Farms. The Theodore Powers is showing slow signs of life. Going for Andros the elimination. J, oh, no, Vicky Two Farms managed just to hold on. The Theodore Powers, Theodore Powers fighting coming back. to the rescue. Just hammering away with chops and forearms and another chop. Once again, looking to bring the Emo Trash Boys together. Oh no, just headbutting himself. It's that big head of Theodore Powers. Right there, working on the Emo Trash Boys. Well, he's earned the right to have one. He's a tremendous wrestler. 
Oh, oh wow. There by Theodore Powers. Just eating the boot of Theodore Powers. That time, Andros J equal to the challenge, but Theodore Powers with a reversal of his own. Sending Andros J into the corner. And the Emo Trash Boys both eat the European uppercut. Theodore Powers making his way first to the second rope, maybe going all the way to the top. Yes, he is. Theodore Powers is climbing to the top. Emo Trash Boys. Oh, Ted Saban. Oh. Look at that. Ted Saban pushing Andros J aside to take the brunt. Oh, but it doesn't help because a cutter is forthcoming. Andros J breaking his arm last year as a result of a crossbody. Maybe Ted Saban uh, was a bit cautious there. Didn't want to take the risk in that one. Very true. Rather well, very gallant move by Ted Saban. Clearly their bond runs deep. Grant and meanwhile, Andros Theodore Powers outside. looking to eliminate Andros J. Ted Saban's back to his feet and taking advantage of Theodore Powers' momentum. Oh, no. Oh, no. Powers no. Been eliminated. And just like that, then there were three. The Emo Trash Boys and Vicky Two Thumbs. Vicky Two Thumbs they, all alone against the Emo Trash Boys. What's she going to do? Hey, and Andros J. She's Andros ducked Jay. over. Andros J. still on his feet. Oh, but Ted Saban. And there you have it, Grapple fans. Let me sit down for this one because I've earned it. Grapple fans, the winner of the Showdown Rumble after a chaotic display. Multiple people at the commentation station, brawls in the local area. But at the end of it all, Vicky Two Thumbs picks up the victory after eliminating both the Emo Trash Boys against all odds. Because, Mark Andrews, she is always tenacious. Absolutely, Rob Ringside. What can I say? This has been one of the most chaotic battle royals I have ever seen. But you're quite right, Vicky Two Thumbs, always tenacious, is your winner. And meanwhile, in the middle of the ring, wearing Prince Dean's crown, it appears. Vicky Two Thumbs looking to get some, some agreed mutual respect from Theodore Powers. Crowd want Theodore to shake the hand. Oh, we got it. There we yes. go. Yes, that's lovely to see. Yeah, as the, the crown changes hands, even though it's not her crown to give, but we'll forgive that. The winner of this one, Vicky Two Thumbs. What a show. Thank you, Grapple fans, for tuning in. Well, that about does it, as you were right to point out, Clark Andrews, for us here at the Lock Meadow Entertainment Center. Our oh, thanks to you for watching. Yeah. What, what a show we've had this afternoon here at Rob Ringside. Yes, indeed. Who could forget? Some of the incredible matches we've had. We've had Fatal Four Ways, we've had the Rumble, we've had singles action, we've had equal rights, equal fights. We've had brawls that have taken us outside the ring space, outside perhaps even the town. We didn't see. Could have gone anywhere for all we know. But at the end of it all, your winner, local hero, hometown sensation, Vicky Two Thumbs wins in our hometown of Maidstone. Thank you very much. Greetings Grapple fans, Rob Ringside here reminding you to check out more UKPW content on our YouTube channel. There's links everywhere around us, so just pick one and you're going to have some fantastic wrestling action.